Okay. Let's try a Jabava. We got to. And maybe it'll be a classical Jabava. This is like the starting position. This is, yeah, that's the most common move. This is a must. Now, if he goes here, you take. And I don't really know how to play these positions from here. <laughs> this is officially the wing it stage. I gotta, I gotta, I think, brush up a bit. I mean, so what's very common here, he obviously wants to push this. So I go here. And that's what Daniel Naroditsky and all that say, but it, for that brief moment, he can attack my bishop, which sucks. Sometimes I like to pin this knight, though. But you're not supposed to. Maybe I'll play it a little differently. I know this is probably not theory, but I kind of like the idea of stopping this, but... Maybe, and you don't put it here because he's going to move a rook there and then he's going to threaten to fork. So you put your bishop here. This is what you're supposed to do. Now if he goes after it, then you just have to go back and get the age file. Castle queen side. Yeah. So that's exactly what's about to go down here. And... I think we're going to play this. Helping my bishop come alive? I'll take it. Is he going to want to go into an endgame? Oh, let's do it. How's he protecting this pawn? Should I take the pawn now and let him have this other one? That's a tough decision. Yeah, I think we're going to take it. And then we're going to go... If I go here... Where is he going? This check, I take, and he gets another pawn. We're doing it. We're getting crazy. Gotta get this bishop, you know, into the game. Okay. We're gonna connect our rooks. Actually... I wonder if I should put a pawn here. Um, 
obviously this uh, knight is coming here, so... I kind of think it's a must. But I could just go here, he'll check me, and then I'll go here. I kind of like that. Let's do it. If he checks me, I'm going here. I don't like the idea of putting myself in a pin. So if I go here, I think we're safe. Actually, no, that's losing. He's gonna go there. Oh good, I get away from the pin. He had a great move and I'll show it after. Okay, well, we're out of danger there. I don't mind that. And now our bishop's been liberated. I think we're going to expand. Why not? Well, that's kind of necessary. We're gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go here. Yeah, now where is he going? The fork, nicely done. The double fork. So I do think this is necessary. And then, oh no, I can't do it with that rook. I gotta do it with this rook. I go here. If he checks me, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, let's do it. Oh no, but then he's got that stupid move. I'm going to take two minor pieces for a rook. What do you think? Let's do it. I got two bishops and a rook. I'm going to do it. I just gave up a pawn. Let's see if we can get some activity here. Oh, you know what I should have done? Should have went there. Damn it. Okay. Okay, this is dangerous. Danger. <laughs> I'm gonna pile up on this damn pawn. I'm gonna protect my bishop. I'm gonna protect my bishop and I'm gonna go here. I think I'm gonna lose this just cause like he's got two and a half minutes to my 37 seconds and this is complicated as hell so. Looks like I lost the first one, but.
If he pushes, I'm going to take, take, check, and snag a rook. Oh, okay. What's he doing? We're going to protect the bishop. What's he got? How are you protecting that? I need a fresh coffee. I'm gonna be right back. But there was a, a losing moment here where I knew I lost it. And he luckily didn't find it. It was when I walked myself back into this pin. Okay, so let's just, I wanna show this without the engine. Right here. Now he's attacking this twice, right? My only way to defend it Let's see if this works. Is to do something like this. Now, if he piles up on that piece. Let's see how this works. Yeah. He would take. Oh, but then I could get out of the pin. I, I saw. So what I saw was takes here. And, or no, what did I not see? What did I see here? Maybe I was seeing ghosts. Yeah, maybe I was seeing ghosts here. Let's look at a quick analysis of that one. That was a cool game. Gave up the rook, two minor pieces. We take those. I bet you the computer wanted that too, obviously. Six for five. All standard Jabava theory until d4 takes, takes, takes that. Rook takes d1. Now let's see here. Rook takes d4, top recommended computer line. King d2, top recommended computer line. Rook, c1 or d1, both kind of tied. Uh, no, D1, oh, it's fighting. They're tied, okay? King E1, computer doesn't care about that. Now, I thought he was gonna play the rook down there. He did not, but let's see if the rook goes down here. What do I do? Yeah, okay, so it's pretty even if he does that. He didn't. I, sh I was listening, I should have done F3, but I didn't. I went king f1, that's fine. f3, that's fine. Um, b3, they're all in there, 0. 0.6. You can see four top recommended computer lines, four of them there, all pretty even. And of course, massive blunder here by opponent to go for this. And then here, yeah, bishop here was better, but actually computer didn't mind that, giving up the pawn. This idea was sneaky.
Intermediate check, then take back. Yeah, wicked. We take those. I'm gonna get another coffee and we're gonna play another one. Just give me a quick sec here. <laughs>